Hello, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a great week. Uh, so today I'm bringing you a new educational video where we're going to be comparing and talking about using time charts versus tick charts in this case specifically for a day trading if you follow if you've been following me for any length of time or if you've seen my trading courses uh that i offer you know that my main market to trade is futures specifically the mini and the micro s p 500 the es and the mes and uh, tick charts is one of my favorite order flow tools that I use to trade these markets. I actually, I do use both types of charts. I use minute and uh, I use time-based charts like the five minute, one minute, and then obviously I have the one hour and the daily for my higher time frame analysis. But I always use a tick chart in order to execute um, and get in and out of trades because of the factors that I'm gonna show you in this video. And if you don't use them yet, I think they're a very useful tool that you can add into your arsenal, okay? So first, let's just start off by defining what tick charts are in case you don't already know. So time-based charts are charts where basically a new candle forms after each set period of time, uh, after a set period of time continuously. No matter what kind of volatility or trend or strength there is in the market, we know that if you're on a five minute chart, exactly every five minutes, you're gonna get a new candle. The most popular time frames for short term trading uh, with time-based charts, I think would definitely be the five minute and the one minute. Those again are personally the ones that I always have on my screens. And just to um, clarify again, I use both. I have my tick charts on my main monitor and I have my time-based charts off to the side and other monitors as well, just so I can get an overall picture. So it's definitely good to work with them together just to have a good um you know a global uh picture of everything so a tick chart prints a new candle after a set number of trades executes and helps to see you more helps to see more clearly the activity during high momentum and volatility periods okay so basically tick charts are just going to show you the predefined number of trades between buyers and sellers um there are n this is not the same as i'm going to explain later as volume charts this just measures the number of trades that are happening no matter what the size of it the size of the trades are uh, tick charts are especially useful in short-term trading while i'm sure some people can use them in swing trading i think the real edge in them comes from just identifying um, quick intraday um, movements uh, the quality of the tick data can vary and most times you're going to need to pay tick data from your broker so this is one thing to consider for example while well, i know a lot of you use trading view which i also use a lot for my market analysis but unfortunately TradingView at the moment does not offer tick charts and that's one of the main reasons that i use sierra chart as my main trading platform okay so let's talk about what i said before in regards to difference between tick charts and volume charts you've probably heard of volume charts which is basically a chart where let's say in this case a 3000 volume chart this is during the regular uh session market open at 9 30 to 11 30 a.m eastern and so you can see basically each candle is formed after 3000 contracts in the es market have been executed now you can see they're actually pretty similar this is a 3000 tick chart in the same time period and you can see structurally they're very similar however the tick charts like like we said 
um, just measures the number of transactions. So a single transaction could include one contract or 50 contracts or 300 contracts or whatever. The number of trades is what determines the creation of the new tick on the chart, not the number of contracts on them. So for example, on a 3000 tick chart, you could literally have a, I don't know, 2,999 trades for uh, one contract and one trade for 500 contracts. And it'll still be printing just one 3000 tick candle, okay? So it just measures the number of transactions, no matter what the size of the execution is. So next question that a lot of people have when they want to start using tick chart is what period am I going to choose? What amount of contract of trades should I choose? So no matter what type of chart you use, you're looking at just different ways of to represent and interpret the same trade data. The main thing is finding a chart type and period that gives you the best actionable signals for your strategy. A good starting point would be to pick a time-based chart on your market of choice that you like for day trading, such as a five-minute chart, and then look for a tick chart that resembles it. I would also focus on regular market hours if possible, as that is when most of the volumes are being traded. So 9.30 a.m. Eastern to 4 p.m. Eastern. Depending on your trading style, if you like to scalp, you'd want low tick charts, like say 100 ticks, for example, or for day, for day trading, you could use 500, 1,000, etc. cetera. Um, it depends, you know, some people uh, like just uh, big round numbers, like in the hundreds or like a thousand. Other people even use Fibonacci numbers to set their ticks. I personally um, got used to using a 3000 tick chart in the ES market during regular hours and a 2000 tick chart on the MES on the micros during regular hours. So those are the two that I use personally. So let's compare now um, the difference between the, diff the two sessions in regards to the amount of volumes and volatility. So you can see here, this is basically a whole day of action in the ES market and futures from the open at 6 p.m. Eastern time all the way to the close of the market. Well, it closes uh, cash close at 4 and then we just carry over and at 5 p.m. we have the settlement for the day. But you can see here on a 3000 tick chart, even though this is going from 6 p.m. to 9.30 a.m., so that's 15 and a half hours, and look at the number of candles. And then here you have from 9.30 to 4 p.m. or well, 5 p.m. But the last hour base barely has any volume. But you can see the difference even though this is only um, six and a half hours. Look how much more candles we have because there's a lot more trading volume done in regular hours. If we go into uh, extended hours now, I'm sorry, uh, if we go on a five minute chart, we have the same thing. Futures open at 6 p.m. and then the close at settlement at 5 p.m. And now look on a five minute chart how this inverses. Since we have one candle being made every five minutes, no matter what the volatility or the volume traded is or the momentum, we have a bunch of five minute candles within this uh, 15 and a half hour period, which is going to be the same every day. 
and then we have a set number of candles which is the same every day during market hours okay so you can see time-based charts there's no uh, filtering of um, volatility volume or noise or anything okay and then this is the same thing but in a one minute chart again so you can see just the amount of candles we have in the extended hours versus regular market hours remember futures markets are open pretty much about 23 well I, well I would say 22 hours a day from 6 p.m to 4 p.m the next day okay so now let's go over a list of what are the advantages of using uh tick charts and reasons why i like to use them in my futures day trading um strategies okay so first strategy first advantage it removes the noise from the market it is going to compress periods of low trading activity so it reduces the market noise and it helps us to make more informed decisions one thing that i see happening a lot when we look at time-based charts is um many times there's just a lot of wicks everywhere where if you look at tick charts is going to compress those and show them more uh reduced for example here you can see this period this is during extended market hours and you can see here you have 6 p.m to 2 a.m in this box on a five minute chart and then here on a 1000 tick chart which is uh the number that i like to use during extended hours you can see just how much less how less candles we have just because extended hours have very low volume overall okay and you can compare this here too this is during regular market hours and you can see this is a five minute chart and this is what i was telling you like look at all these wicks there's just a lot of long wicks everywhere whereas in a five in a 3000 tick chart in this case is just a lot easier to identify swing highs and lows just a lot more structure when it comes to um to um to just looking at price action for me instead of having and we'll go over to sierra chart at the end of the the presentation and just look at examples on live charts but basically you just get a lot more detail and if there's periods where there's very low activity like usually around lunchtime there's very low activity volumes go down a little bit instead of having a bunch of candles printing every five minutes that are barely like moving you're just gonna have less candles printing on the tick chart by comparison okay so you're not getting like useless candles that are just going sideways in very low volumes and volatility and you just filter out what is most needed okay second advantage better view of high low volatility periods so again when we have for example um market uh opens um we have a lot like a big infusion of volumes and you can see just in the tick charts how there's periods where when there's less volatility you're simply going to get less candles so you can see right here this is a five minute chart on the left and this is a 1000 tick chart on the right and again this is from 6 a.m to 6 from 6 p.m to 6 a.m so this is a 12 hour period on both charts and you can see how for example in periods like here where you get just a bunch of little candles just going sideways doing nothing in this case you're going to uh have it like here where you only have 
four candles instead of getting like here, which is like 15 candles going sideways. Okay. But then when you do have a lot of, um, you know, when you have a big infusion in like volume, then you're going to get a lot more tick charts. And we're going to see that a lot more evidently uh, once we go into regular market hours, which is I'll show you at the end where you're really going to see the usefulness um, of tick charts because you just get a lot cleaner picture of structure, which is point three that we're talking about cleaner market structure like I had mentioned before. So if we take a five minute chart and I know you might be thinking, well, but instead of looking at five minute charts, why don't you put a one minute chart? And yes, it's true. During regular market hours, a one minute chart is going to be a lot more similar than a 3000 tick chart than if you choose a five minute. The problem, what I don't really like one minute charts is just the same thing I mentioned with the five minute, but even more intense regarding the wicks. When you look at a one minute chart, you're just going to get a lot of wicks and also a lot of just tiny candles that for me don't provide any real like good information. We're going to talk about that a little bit later in the video, but you can see right here this period right here you can see we opened market dumped and then we had a retracement into the block at the open and then we dump here the same thing here you have the structure here that pushed up before we broke down and broke this previous swing low here but look at this retracement here compared to this one here look at the amount of candles that we get here and look how clearly we can see the market structure here higher highs higher lows basically this is almost like a bear channel or bear bear flag just retracing into the area of supply or resistance whereas here you just get several candles with huge wicks on both sides. And for me, you know, this is not really giving me any like clear indication of anything. Whereas this, you get a lot cleaner picture. And again, these candles are being generated really fast because as you can see, this is a high volume, high volatility period in the day market has just opened so you can see how much more candles we're generating because there's a lot of transactions occurring so it's just generating a lot more uh, candles and structure same thing on this second uh, square here you come here you have these candles here go down and come back here I mean, I can't really clearly see like the support here or any kind of, um, you know, a clear sign of an area to try to short on a retracement. Whereas if you go here, you can clearly see a cluster of candles here and you have your level of your swing low here and your level of support broken here and then the retracement into that area so it just looks a lot more cleaner with a lot more structure and candles to base your decisions in um, same example here we have another market open which are usually pretty volatile and the same thing you know here yeah you can see that there was some resistance here and you had your retracement etc but look how much cleaner this looks over here. You know, in this case, this whole area here, this first 15 minutes in the open is this entire thing. All these candles happened within this three, five minute candles. We had all this 3000 tick candles, for example. So you just get a lot more structure 
over here like here there's no real clear like anything and, but if you look at it on the tick you can see we came we made a swing high we broke out and this was a great entry on a pullback into the broken swing for this push up over here so you can see how on the five minute this just lacks a lot of um, information whereas here you get a lot more candles in volatile periods and then that helps you make a lot more better informed uh, decisions just a lot more cleaner market structure swing high swing lows etc okay another advantage of tick charts is earlier and clearer breakout signals okay so if we compare this chart again this is a five minute which is what i always use usually to compare this to and again i use both type of charts when i am trading but the tick charts are always my priority when it comes to planning out my trade executions so if we look at this area here we can see that we had a breakout here from this level which is this one right here so we had the breakout and you can see which I'm going to talk in the next point too but just pointing it out here we had our thrust candle here that broke the resistance right there and you can see we can put a very type if you were like if you caught and went long somewhere here on this breakout you can put your stop loss really a lot tighter behind the impulse candle whereas if you got in pretty much here which is the similar area or no like around here which is the same thing as this your stop loss would have to go down here because that's the only logical area based on this candle below the thrust candle whereas here your thrust candle was a lot tighter so it lets you have a cleaner and a closer risk but then here let's say you miss the breakout but now you want to get in on a retracement well if you're coming back here it's a lot less clear how you're going to get in on this well this whole area is basically this right here this is the same as this here and you can see how over here you have the push up you have a clear swing high here then we broke come back and now you can try you can get in here on the retracement okay and then in this case you have a very nice you can even put your Fibonacci levels from here to here and look for a retracement here in order to get long over here you don't have any picture or anything of this structure there's not really anything to guide yourself with whereas here you just get a lot cleaner structure more efficient stop loss placements for better risk reward trades what we were talking about before let's say market is pulling back here into the bottom of this high volume node same as though this is the same thing here and you can see if we're trying to get long because we want to see if we're going to break this highs here you know this is just a row of green candles you're not getting even a single red five minute candle to use as a guide for a retracement so if you just you know get long here let's say well your stop loss is going to go below here this is the logical level where you want to protect it before below the valley area low here and the edge of your node whereas over here you can see how we came back we took off so if you get in like around here let's say which is pretty much the same place as here 
you have this little swing low that is not evident on the five minute chart so now your protection can go instead of here it can go up in this area which is not an evident swing low here but over here is a pretty obvious swing low and so you can see how now you've tightened your risk and now you can have better risk reward trades with that okay and let's just go into sierra and just let's look at today's market is closed right now but let's look at friday's regular trading hours which is right here this is a five minute on the left three thousand tick on the right and let's just go over some of the things that we talked about and the advantages we have here with uh, tick charts over minute charts and again I would suggest using both doesn't mean that you have to abandon time-based charts because they definitely have their use especially like I said on higher time frames in swing trading I use time-based charts only like the one hour daily but for day trading on lower time frames and quick trades um, intraday I definitely execute based on tick charts so you can see right here again just volatility right at the open first 15 minutes you have three green candles up on the five minute which equals to I don't know this is probably like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen forty fifteen sixteen seventeen we had 17 candles on the 3000 tick versus three five minute candles here so you can see already all the information that you are getting if i zoom in right here you can see the same thing if you're trying to get long on the open all you're getting is this big candles with long wicks on all like on all sides here you got long wicks everywhere whereas on the tick chart it's a lot less a lot more clean you have a swing high swing low a little swing high higher low higher high so for example here this would have been a great opportunity to just look at this you have your little uh, demand block you have this resistance broken and now you you know this is a good long to take over here expecting this to break and make a higher high now you can say well yeah but here when this candle closed I could have gone long here or I could have tried to get this back and yeah you could do that but you know there's no real like clear structure here to do anything for me I want a lot more detail and yeah like let's say if I go into a one minute chart this is the same thing Friday on a one minute chart and yeah in this case you do get sort of a similar structure you have this tiny red doji candle which is not as nice and clear as this one Mm -hmm. then you have the swing high which in here it is evident on the one minute and the swing low as well so you can see like I said the one minute and the and the ticks are more similar than the five minute but like I said with the minute chart what I don't like with the one minute chart is when you get all this like little candles with like wicks everywhere for example like uh on this swing high right here if i compress this like right there you can see for example in this case you got a lot less tick candles than the minute candles and you're just getting a bunch of long wicks everywhere you do have some wicks here but for me it just looks cleaner and simpler observing this on a um on a tick chart 
especially too when we go into more like lower volatility periods like around like lunchtime for example you can see right here like this period you get all the little candles here going sideways whereas here it's just compressed into just a few um a few candles oh no actually it's not this one it's this one into like a few candles instead of having all these like little candles going sideways for you know in this case this was like half an hour okay and so if we go back to another example that i was going to talk about regarding um entry opportunities and uh breakouts and stop loss placements you can see this pink line that i have marked here so this is let me go back to the five minute chart okay so if we're trading here on the five minute chart you have all these wicks here whereas here you have more clear resistance and then when we have the breakout let's say breakout traders will usually let the candle from their trading time frame close and then they go in with a stop below the candle that broke through so in this case let's say this closes and you go long right here with your stop loss here this is a big big uh stop loss i mean this is from 75 it's almost like a 10 point stop loss which if you're trading like the e-mini that's a 500 dollars stop loss you know this is a really wide stop whereas if you go here let's say here i'll just mark it again stop loss there on the breakout here here you can see you have the breakout and then you get this immediate retest so you preempted the breakout a lot earlier and once you saw this here you could put a buy order at this broken resistance and you get this tiny wick and then off you go and then in that case too once you have the wick and the rejection you can even put your stop right below the retest wick when it takes off i mean or you can put it like let's say you can put it here which is where you would have put it originally but then once you see this pin bar forming then you can just move your stop here or just put it here right after the pullback is confirmed and the retest and close is confirmed then you can get long right here which is a lot better than waiting on this uh, five minute chart for example okay but you can see how this all helps you see market structure more clearly you get earlier signals of breakouts much faster an opportunity for a retest and then also you get um you can put tighter stop losses um in the um in your trades okay and let's see what else here and you can see well this is almost towards the end of the day the last hour but again you can see here similarly we had a huge dump at 3 p.m for the last hour and then here you know you don't have a single green candle in the five minute to look for any opportunity to join in in the trend whereas here on the tick we had this little cluster here so then in this case you could have waited and gone in on the breakdown here on the breakout from this cluster or you could have even just saw here you did pull back bring down and then pull back again so you had here a resistance level and then obviously you can use other tools like your footprint chart look for absorption here and then you know look for trapped buyers that then are gonna get squeezed and this is gonna keep 
pulling down, etc. Okay, and again, you do not have to use 3000, like just go whatever market you do, look for the um, the period that most uh, works for your strategy. But in this case, again, I'm used to using this number, you should just go ahead and see whatever number gives you the best um, the best structure for what you need to see in order to execute efficiently that is unique to each person and you know all you're trying to do is you're interpreting the same data that everyone else is getting so you just want to see how you can see it in the most clearest simplest way possible okay and that is again why for me tick charts are very useful just because um, they give you an opportunity to filter out noise see structure a lot clearer and also helps you to uh, navigate better high volatility and volume environments okay I hope this video has been helpful. I know it extended a lot, but I always like to go into great detail on my educational content. Uh, if you haven't done so, check out my website and you can check out the new course uh, bundles that I'm offering, all three of my courses for a very special price. So check that out. Hope you have a great week and I'll see you in the next video.